Zach, we are going to help you surprise Maggie with a brand new home office makeover. Three, two, one. No! Welcome to Try DIY, the show where we transform our friends' forgotten spaces into beautiful new interiors using the power of DIY. Ariel knows what she's doing, and I'm her husband. Why DIY, Ariel? It's cool to be able to do something yourself. Also rewarding. And it saves money. Each episode, we're gonna listen to what our friends need and then set them up with a DIY project that'll help them save money and be awesome. Right, this show is about making our friends awesome. Let's talk about Zach and Maggie. Ooh. Ooh. Let's dish. Ooh, dish. So Zach Zach's and Maggie. secret girlfriend, Maggie. They're not new, but they're new to the internet. Mm -hmm. They just moved in together. That's a really so big that's deal. A big step. Maggie and I have been dating for two and a half years. We moved in together about six months ago. It was actually a really easy transition. I was nervous, but. What were really, you nervous about? I don't know. It's really amazing living with an angel like me, because I just give you so few things to be frustrated and angry and upset about. That is really funny, because it sounded like you were going to say, living with an angel like Maggie. <laughs> no, no, I knew it was coming. <laughs> when we moved in here, this place was not in the best shape. We joked that it was kind of like a fixer-upper apartment. The floors were scuffed and scratched. The walls were this putrid yellow. It's really been a constant redecorating of this place. We have a mix of like pieces that we bought and then things that we found at thrift stores. I like neutral colors. I like a clean space. I don't like to see a lot of clutter. She hates clutter. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, I saw Zach's doing. apartment. This is like 99% Maggie. Honestly, I don't yeah. think you need our help. This is beautiful. Yeah. 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 What's wrong about it? What's the problem? So Maggie was in charge of this room and the bedroom and the kitchen and the bathrooms. And then I was in charge of the guest bedroom. I pushed to have a two bedroom apartment. I've never had a home office. And so I was like, yes, finally, I'm gonna have a place where I can, you know, be productive on the weekends and work on other creative projects. Well, let's check it out. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Uh -huh. So this is our home office. <laughs> Maggie has a very particular aesthetic. I just learned what that word means. This room also has like everything that we weren't quite allowed to put in the rest of the house. So you have like all of my reject movie posters, right. the original patents for Legos, my old boops and bops. What are boops and bops? Boops and bops are like, you know, like miscellaneous, like knickknacks. You have a whole box full of miscellaneous knickknacks well, that I, you call boops and bops? I kind of told her that like, I'm gonna take on this room. It's gonna be my responsibility. Oh, Dude. there's stuff inside the dresser yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, wow. like, this looks like craft supplies. Yeah, I mean, some of this is mine, some of this Maggie. I feel like I've let her down. She would never say that because she's too sweet. I did a little a little home DIY. We have our, our Wi-Fi box. You have a rug uh -huh, uh -huh. and it's rolled up on the floor. Yeah. So Zach was in charge of this room. All right, all right. <laughs> her happiness and her mental well-being is dependent on calm and order in the home. Having this unfinished room is just this like nagging little thing in the back of our brains that I, I know upsets her. Well, today, Maggie, as a special surprise, Zach is going to redesign this entire room with our help. You're not going to be able to see the end until it's all done. Relationships are about compromise, and so we're going to try and be the glue that holds them together. I feel like I know what you want. Yeah. I'm going to uh, make you proud. I see. We're doing nice things for our friends. Yeah. Because we're such good people. Yeah, we're humanitarians. We save lives. Do you believe, do you believe in us? I believe in Metanarial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fair. I know what Maggie wants, uh -huh. but I want to talk about what you want. I need a home office. I, I have a standing desk that I bought, but I just need to make it comfortable and cute and somewhere that I can work on the weekends and feel like this is a place that I can be productive. So you want to leave work at work and then also come, home, work. To work. come home to work. <laughs> our challenge is going to be figuring out how to incorporate all of these things from our old lives in a way that feels natural, aesthetic. Okay. That's Don't not the correct way to, way. Way. yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so now that you've seen their space, mm -hmm. what's the plan for the makeover? Oh, let me show you. Zach wants it to be an office. Right. So we're gonna keep that desk in there. Basically just make the room look nice around that desk. 
We're gonna put the desk over by the window. We're gonna put storage on both sides. We're gonna put a big rug in there. This is the rug that Maggie actually mm. has already bought, mm. um, which is great because it gives me an idea of the colors that she wants to use in that room. What are we doing for Maggie in this room? Maggie loves DIY and crafting, mm. and so I want it to be an office for me, but I also wanna give her a space for her. She always says like everything has a home, <laughs> but I think she would be happier if we had like is credenza the right word? Sure. No. Great. We are going to build Maggie a fold-down craft table. I think it'll be really, really fun for her to have her own little space where she can store things. She doesn't have to use Zach's desk to work on her stuff. This is all great, but I'm not seeing a ton of storage for Zach's boops and bops. Well, I'm planning on getting rid of a lot of that. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, we can make this work. We can make anything work. You can make anything work. So, are you ready to clean out the room? Yeah! yeah! It wasn't a freeze frame until Ariel <laughs> popped her hand up. So, I mean, I have, you know, books and there's a lot more where this came from. First of all, you have two of a confederacy of dunces. Well, that's just, yeah, I mean, that's a good book. Let's talk about some of the stuff that they are collecting. Because sure. Zach has a whole bunch of stuff that he calls boops and bops. 40 year version, arguably my favorite movie ever made. Spice in my pocket. There's some really good facts in here. I never even watched Star Trek. Toys. Toys. It's toys. This person made Nick Cage as different Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can boop them bop a here. I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. What are we gonna do with the boops and bops? What? I can't believe I just said it like that. <laughs> boops and bops. Maybe we keep the boops, but we throw away some of the bops. So I should get rid of my laser disc copy of The Lion King. Probably. Yeah. I have a ton of records and we don't own a record player. Maggie actually loves records. She has a ton too. It's a Hebrew copy of Captain Underpants. But how fun, it's backwards. Actually, Zach asked us several times yeah. if you collected anything. Right, and, and I'll tell you what I do collect. The answer was yes. My board game bookcase. But Ariel made me put it away in a bookshelf. That was actually kind of hard to get to. Ugh. Let me see what I did there. An ugly Hanukkah sweater called Lamaka <laughs> O Lamaka. Well, actually, That's we have fun. we have matching a Christmaka and a Lamaka. Do then you guys have a box of Christmas stuff? Pretty good. Do we have a box of Christmas stuff? How dare you ask me that in my own home? It's, it was difficult to get Zach to eliminate some of the sentimental items. For about five years, I kept every cover of any. Entertainment Weekly. Zach, what yes. is the plan with these? I don't know. I'm learning how to share my life with someone, and a big part of that is realizing that this place isn't just my home, it's our home. You could take all of this and it could be a metaphor for a relationship. They each have a bunch of stuff from their own individual lives, mm -hmm. but now that's a challenge as to how are they gonna combine that to really make a space together. So Zach, why do you think you keep all this stuff? I don't know, dumb things give me joy. They always have. Maybe it's because I've always felt weird and so I like surrounding myself with weird things. You surround yourself with stupid things yeah. because you like feeling stupid. Why don't you surround yourself with orderly, beautiful things yeah. so that you feel orderly and beautiful? Boom. Yeah, right. I think my goal for the rest of this video is figuring out ways to marry my old self with our new self. Okay, goodbye Eternal Sunshine. Goodbye the Lion King on Laserdisc. Uh, I'm keeping this. Uh, this is my old tax information, that's probably trash. What, 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 wait. By us transforming his guest room, it's basically gonna save his relationship. Did they give out Nobel Peace Prizes for YouTube videos? I think they do now. I think they do now. <laughs> wow, okay, we did it. Empty room. Okay, here we go. Not so fast, oh, Zach, no. my boy. It's time for your DIY project. Oh, wow. So let's talk about the DIY project. How are we gonna make this fold down desk sure. thingy? The first step is building the frame. And you've already pre-cut the pieces? I've pre-cut the pieces, I've pre-painted the pieces. Love I've it. basically done the whole project. Just the way I like. <laughs> and once we've built that, we're going to put the hinges on so that mm. we can have the fold down tabletop. Mm. Since the front of it is 
basically unfinished because it's the bottom of a tabletop. I think that we should put something decorative on there. And so I was thinking stick on wallpaper, but you can put anything on there. You can put a piece of art, you could put, um, I mean, truly anything you want. And then the very last thing is we're gonna put in a safety latch so that when you put the tabletop up, it stays. Hmm. You know what, when you say it like that, it sounds pretty easy. It's not that hard. Okay, so I just gotta do a right angle with this on the inside. I have these lined up. I think. I'm so terrified right now. We're using power tools, so he needs to be careful. Zach, I feel like you give him something heavy, he falls over. Okay, hold on. I can like do this with my body, push it like this, and then use maybe the drill in my mouth. First incision. Holy shit. <laughs> this thing is powerful. I want to surprise her, but also showing her that I'm committed and that I can rise to this challenge and be the man of the house that I was born to be, damn it. Fuck yeah! Ariel, you wanna come get eyes on this real quick? No, totally fine. Okay, sick. Then I'm crushing this, then get out of here. <laughs> if you thought that I was gonna fuck this up, well then you're a loser. Oh my God. Do you think Maggie's gonna be proud of you? I think she's gonna assume that you did most of the work. Will Maggie like it? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I am afraid that if I, I guess you just gotta commit, right? Yeah, you just gotta commit. Just go for it. Is it a metaphor? <laughs> it's a giant metaphor for your relationship. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what they say, measure once, cut twice. They don't say that. This is a bad position to be in for a long time for a boy with a bad back. I'm just hoping I don't get a boner. What? Your wife is right here. <laughs> Be cool. Be cool, man. That's a fun sound. <laughs> oh, nice! Zach is actually doing pretty well. He is struggling, yes, but he's really determined to make it work. Ooh, it's like fake wood. It's like fake wood! This is totally Maggie, Maggie aesthetic. Now you just peel and stick. Whoa. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'm down. Wow. It has texture. Nice job. That was easy and this is gorgeous. Right? I know that he was worried about this, but he really stepped up his game. Zach did a great job. It's like a baby changing table. Except the baby could fall off of it. I rolled off the changing table and I turned out fine. Huh. All right, Zach, you did a great job with this folding table. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is, that is really nice. Now it's time to put on the finishing touches which means we're gonna need some montage magic. concerned about certain things. I thought maybe there was gonna be too much stuff, but I think we managed it. This is like a very special time in their relationship and now having this room be completed, it's gonna really mean something. Okay, we're about to surprise Maggie. How are you feeling? Guys, I feel really good. This room looks amazing and thank you guys for all the help and the guidance in making this come together. I'm just so happy. Do you think she's gonna like it? I think she's gonna love it. I honestly, I look at this room and I think it's actually a really beautiful amalgamation of the two of us. I guess there's only one thing left to do and is see if she likes it. Bring her in. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. No, no, no. Close your eyes. You're such a cheater. You're so bad. Okay. Open your eyes in okay, three, three, two, two one. one. Wow, this looks really good. I love it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> wow, wait, it looks so much bigger. So we have a work area for me. So okay. I'm gonna be, you know, tippity typing away. Okay. But also, we wanted this room to be functional for you. Okay. So craft storage Ooh. and a craft table. Like a Murphy bed, I've always wanted one. So that was a DIY project that Zach did for you. You made this. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of help. So what do you think, Maggie? I love it, and we completed the house. Yay! 
what this room shows is that you can keep your stuff, your Legos, your boops and bops, and it can still look really nice. You found a way to incorporate his movie posters. Yeah. There are still some elements of the beeps and boops. Yeah. Boops and bops. Boops and bops. Ooh, we got a record player. Oh, and this is the best. This is a net invention. Wi-Fi. <gasps> How did you do that? Drill the hole in the back. You guys are so smart. It was my idea. <laughs> well, my idea. It, no, it was 100% no, 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 no. my idea. You did such an amazing job with the rest of the apartment. I wanted to do this to show that I am equally as committed to making this home a fun home for both of us. Thank you. You did a really good job. Yeah. 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 We did it. This room is great because it's got so much of Zach's dumb stuff in it. Uh -huh. And it makes me inspired that I can bring some of my dumb stuff into our living room. Okay. Ariel's sister Danielle just moved to Los Angeles and she is living in a studio apartment. It's very small. When I eat, I sit on the floor. On, on the floor. floor. <laughs> you eat on the floor. I mean, it'd be nice if I could like show off my place. We are going to give her a surprise makeover. We are secretly here. Trans secretly. She does know we're here, but we're gonna do whatever we want. thing she loved the most was the hidden Wi-Fi cords. Like, it was my idea, and then I like... No, that, that was... I just, I, I need you to tell, to like tell everybody that it was my idea. Why are you guys both trying to take credit for my idea? No, <laughs> I don't know. 